Hey there, in this video, I wanna talk about CrowdStrike portfolio, but also and give you an overview of what certifications you need in order to get started with a platform as an analyst or as someone who is trying to make the most out of that platform for your environment or even your customers. Getting started, let's get to understand a little bit about what CrowdStrike has been doing over the last few years. So CrowdStrike started in 2011 as an incident response or threat intelligence, rather, technology company. Uh, they provided threat intelligence for, for customers. At one point, they started doing incident response activities, and then they moved on into endpoint security, Falcon Prevent, as you can see uh, down here under Fueling AI Revolution. So that's, that's when they started utilizing machine learning to identify tactics, techniques, and procedures around uh, what attackers have been doing and how to identify these activities. So that is the very uh, advent and start of an industry trend and an industry that we now know as EDR market, right? Endpoint detection and response, if you think about it. So their portfolio has grown a lot over the past few years, uh, so much so that in 2014, they introduced the Prevent module. 2016, they introduced Falcon Insight. 2018, they started working with threat hunting with uh, Falcon Overwatch, uh, which became a staple in the industry since then. Uh, a lot of other innovations have been introduced into the platform. And think about the platform as one single dashboard for everything CrowdStrike. So that's one of the beauty of their platform as well, right? They've always had that mindset and they've always had the thinking about, hey, let's just make it easy to deploy, roll out and make the make it so that it's lightweight. That's why they always rely on the single agent and single platform approach. Make it simple, make it simple to deploy, simple to consume, simple to utilize. And at the end of the day, when we look at uh, where CrowdStrike is currently, they are investing in uh, leading technologies such as generative AI as well. This slide, by the way, is from CrowdStrike, but it talks about uh, this graph or this image that CrowdStrike utilizes to explain their platform, right? So it all starts with a single agent and it goes from there. I'm not here to give you my corporate spiel about it, but what I do want to show you want you to understand is that it can be utilized to expand a lot of the capabilities. This is particularly useful for, for and customers naturally, but for uh, providers. So the MSP capabilities of the CrowdStrike platform are unparalleled. When we think of what other solutions in the market try to do for uh, managed security partners, they are just far behind because they don't allow the customization that it needs or they don't have the robust uh, man multi customer management model that CrowdStrike's platform, which is called Falcon, provides. And this is all because they have API put on top of their platform in a way that is essentially available for a lot of different use cases. When we look then at uh, what they're trying to do, I would like to call your attention to this uh, ring right here, to this outer ring of this diagram which just goes, in, goes to show how their portfolio has grown a lot since the beginning when they only had EDR. Now they talk about identity threat detection response. They talk about cloud security with Kubernetes, of course, Windows Server being uh, the staple of, of that branch of, of technologies alongside with uh, cloud security posture management, application security posture management, and CICD uh, pipeline monitoring as well. XDR and next generation SIM uh, are top of mind. Excited to talk about it in the future, not in this video, but that's something very exciting. Data protection, something that they putting, they're putting a lot of effort into as well. Catering for specific use cases that start from endpoint, but are growing from there. Exposure managed, something that uh, they are definitely recognized in the market as one of the leads, leader solutions in that space as well, which tackles into vulnerability management, but expands it to a degree where, which it makes it more consumable for anyone managing an, org an organization's environment to actually understand what CVEs, what vulnerabilities to actually patch based on context. The context that only a, a provider that has deep knowledge into what adversaries are doing can actually provide. And then there's IT automation capabilities that are ever growing. Falcon for IT is a great example there, but also other workflow automations that are embedded into the platform like Fusion Store. 
And of course, we have uh, threat intelligence. Threat intelligence is a major uh, way that uh, CrowdStrike provides value to their customers by means of uh, multiple services and ways that it is embedded into the incidents that um, the platform highlights and creates for customers. There, are, there is a, an outer layer of services that can be put on top of all these kind of solutions for partners and, and CrowdStrike channel system. But at the same time, it's imp incredibly important for end customers who wants to rely on either a skilled channel or a skilled service provider uh, with CrowdStrike. And generative AI on top of it all, um, that's called Charlotte AI with some modules have gone GA recently as well. Now getting to the bottom of this video, how do you get started? It's a large platform. So what I have on screen right now is a look at the five certifications that you can look at in order to get started. Um, so there's no single path uh, for them or rather there's no single path for um, this last two. But uh, the initial one that you're gonna go through is essentially what we call CrowdStrike Certified Falcon Administrator. This certification is the fundamental of how to utilize the platform, what are the capabilities of the platform, how do you manage hosts, how do you onboard hosts and sensors, what are the particularities you have to uh, look for when you're rolling out new policies, what are the best practices in terms of policies. Now, mind you, I come from a lot of different providers and I've worked with a lot of different security solutions. Getting to recommendations from a vendor, um, it's not always uh, straightforward. I used to work uh, with some technologies that they simply don't have access to best practices recommendations, right? So they, they just leave it up to the customer to actually find out. And whilst, whilst there is a level of business decision that needs to be made in order what policies you have to set up, there must be at least some level of recommendation that is provided by whoever created the platform. And that's great to see there. Now, CCFA will give you the uh, skills to actually start creating these policies, utilizing multi-phase approach to roll out policies to different devices, different servers, and so on and so forth. I've recently taken that exam. It, it's incredibly detailed in what you need to know. Uh, it goes in depth into dashboards that the platform provides you, uh, what dashboards provide what value. So then you need to understand and utilize the platform for at least a few months before you start thinking about taking on that certification. Just be aware. Now, afterwards, uh, you can see CCFR, Falcon Responder would be the next one, and then Falcon Hunter. So these are essentially a step up letter. But then there, is, there, are, we, there are two certifications that are actually on the side of it, which is Cloud Security Certified and Identity Security Certified Specialists. So those two are essentially narrowing down into uh, their latest technologies around these two realms. Latest, uh, looking back a few years, of course, because they have been implementing and developing their portfolio in these streams for the last three years at least. And so this is an overview of all of them. Um, I'm going to put in the uh, description of this video a great PDF that goes into details of what domains each one of these covers. Be mindful that this is everything you need to have an idea of when you're starting your studies. All of these exams are comprised by 60 questions and you have 90 minutes to take them at least. So yeah, that's great experience if you're looking to get into CrowdStrike world. Now, going back to what you need to do, be mindful of that, be mindful of what you want to achieve with your CrowdStrike and be sure to keep up with uh, the channel. Like, subscribe for more content like this and for deep dives in the future around all of these technologies because that's what I'm, I plan to do uh, more regularly in the future. All right, see you next time.